and in John Ephesians chapter 4 it says I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherein you are called with all loneliness and meekness with long suffering forbearing one another in love endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace there is one body one spirit even as you are called in one hope of your calling one Lord one faith one baptism, one God and Father of all, above all, and through whom all, but every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift. Wherein he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same above all that ascended up from above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the perfection of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. But henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cutting craftiness wherein they lie in wait to deceive. There's a lot of deception going on today in the world. A lot of people are spreading fake news and there's a lot of deception. And we need to know what the truth is. We need to know what is the truth. If we don't know what the truth is, we'll get swept away with fake news and propaganda and all the rest of it. So it says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the slight of man and cunning craftiness, wherein they lie to wait to deceive. 